Ông quay cho. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience est ouverte. Aujourd'hui, la Chambre entendra la déposition d'un témoin, le témoin 2 TCW 834. Je prie le greffier de faire rapport sur la présence des partis et autres personnes à l'audience. La greffière. Monsieur le Président, aujourd'hui, toutes les parties sont présentes. Nounchia se trouve dans la cellule temporaire du sous-sol. Il a renoncé à son droit d'être physiquement présent dans le territoire. Le document pertinent a été remis au greffe. Le témoin d'aujourd'hui de TCW 834 a confirmé qu'à sa connaissance, il n'avait de témoin a prêté serment devant la statue à la barre de fer et se tient à disposition de la chambre dans la salle d'attente. Il n'y a pas de témoin de réserve prévu pour l'audience d'aujourd'hui. Le Président, merci. Avant de faire entrer le témoin dans le prétoire, la Chambre doit se prononcer sur la demande de Nunchia. The waiver by Nunchia dated 29 January 2015. A fait remettre à la Chambre un document daté du 28 janvier 2015, dans lequel il indiquait qu'en raison de son état de santé et de ses maux de dos et de tête, il ne pouvait pas se concentrer. As a result, he would like to request to follow the proceedings today, that is 29 January 2015, from a holding cell downstairs. The council has also informed his accused that this waiver does not mean it is prejudicial to the fair and just the crowd nullement à son droit against the accused. Also, the chamber has noted the medical report by the duty doctor dated 29 January 2015, who notes that the health condition of a backache and dizziness from a prolonged sitting, and that it is difficult for him to follow the proceedings in the main courtroom. As a result, he recommends that the accused shall be allowed to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs and in pursuant to Route 815 of the Internal Rules, the Chamber grants Nunchi's request to follow the proceedings from a holding cell downstairs remotely for today's proceedings. As Nunchi waives his rights to be present in the courtroom. The AVA unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the holding cells downstairs so that he can follow the proceedings. And that applies for today's proceedings. L'accusé Nonchia, en effet, suivra l'audience. The international co-prosecutor, as you may proceed. Durant toute la journée, la parole est au co-procureur international. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président, Madame, Messieurs les juges. We wanted to raise before the witness was brought in. This is a matter of trial procedure. 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 
du résumé de la déposition du témoin, il pourrait y avoir des problèmes de confidentialité. Peut-être que le témoin serait amené à aborder des questions très sensibles pendant sa déposition. Dans d'autres tribunaux où j'ai travaillé, la partie qui demande la comparution du témoin, en général, on discute à l'avance pour voir si le témoin, effectivement, est réticent à témoigner publiquement. Et le cas échéant, la question peut être soulevée auprès de la Chambre pour demander le huis clos. Bien sûr, ici, nous n'avons pas pu en discuter avec le témoin, car nous n'avons eu aucun contact avec le témoin. À la différence d'une partie civile, le témoin n'est pas accompagné d'un avocat représentant ses intérêts. Et donc, quand le témoin entrera dans le prétoire, les juges ou encore la partie qui a fait citer le témoin à comparaître pourraient indiquer au témoin que s'il est réticent à évoquer des questions de vie privée en public, les parties et la And Chambre also, pourraient en tenir compte. J'ai un rendez-vous à 10 heures par ailleurs, et donc, myself. par avance, je m'excuse de devoir quitter le prétoire avant la fin de l'audience du matin. Le Président, la parole est donnée à la juge Friends qui pourra apporter les précisions nécessaires suite à l'intervention de l'accusation. Il s'agit d'envisager la possibilité d'un huis clos pour la déposition d'un témoin particulier. Juge Friends. La juge oh, Fens. Oh, yeah, yeah. À notre connaissance, il existe une procédure. L'unité d'appui au témoin expert est en contact avec le témoin et c'est ainsi 
qu'on a pu tenir compte des dispositions de l'article 29, à savoir qu'il y a des délais fixés pour les mesures de protection. Toutefois, si le témoin pendant l'audience soulève une question particulière, eh bien la Chambre se prononcera. L'accusation, nous n'avons reçu aucune information de la part de l'unité d'appui. Peut-être que les chambres ont été informées, mais savons-nous si le témoin a été consulté à ce sujet Le cas échéant, savons-nous quelle est sa position Pour notre part, on n'a aucune information. Doit-on supposer qu'on a dit au témoin qu'il pouvait demander un huis clos, mais que cette demande a été rejetée la juge Fentz, comme je l'ai dit, il y a une pratique en vigueur. Nous croyons savoir que l'unité d'appui informe le témoin. En conséquence, pour les détails, il faudra vérifier. Mais comme je l'ai dit, si le témoin a une demande à formuler pendant l'audience, c'est peut-être un peu tardif, puisque pour mettre en place des mesures de protection, il y a différents aspects techniques. C'est justement pour cela, d'ailleurs, qu'on essaie d'être informé un peu plus tôt, le cas échéant. Voilà, je n'ai rien à ajouter pour l'instant. L'accusation. Merci. The parties calling the witness, in this case, the prosecutor or the suggesting the witness, in this case, the prosecution, um, don't have the opportunity to make a motion based on the witness's wishes, as we don't know the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the witness's wishes. So we could not comply with the Merci. Président, le président, huissier d'audience, veuillez faire entrer le témoin dans le prétoire. President, good morning, Madam. Bonjour, Madam. Is it your name Chiang Sri Mom? Vous appelez-vous Chiang Sri Mom? Witness. Le témoin. Yes, my name is Chiang Sri Mom. Je m'appelle Chiang Sri Mom. Question: When were you born? Question: Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer: Réponse: I was born in 1955. Je suis né en 1955. Question: Where is your current address? Où résidez-vous actuellement? Answer: Réponse: Currently, actuellement, I live in Nyangyong Commune. Je vis dans la commune de Nyangyong, district de Tramkot, province de Takeo. Question: Question: What is your current occupation? Quelle est votre profession actuellement? I am a rice farmer. Réponse. Je cultive du riz. What is your father's name? Question. Quel est le nom de votre père? 
answer. Réponse. My father's name is Chiang Yuan. Chiang Yuan. Question. And what is your mother's Question. name? Question. Et celui de votre mère? Answer. Réponse. Her name is Sao Non. Sao Non. Question. Question. And what is your husband's name? And Comment s'appelle votre mari et combien d'enfants avez-vous ensemble? And sir, Réponse. My husband's name is Mon mari s'appelle Tri Tuik. And we have three children. Nous avons trois enfants. Question. Question. Can you uh, tell the chamber from 17 April 1975 to 6 January 1979 where did you live and Où what did you do? Où avez-vous vécu et qu'avez-vous fait entre le 17 avril 1975 et le 6 janvier 1979? Answer. Réponse. In 1975, en 1975, I lived in je vivais dans le village de Rusei Srok, dans la commune de Nyang Nyang. And Mr. President, could you please repeat your question again, uh, President? Pourriez-vous répéter okay. votre question, Monsieur le Président? Le Président, bien sûr. Que faisiez-vous à l'époque? Answer. Réponse. In that uh, regime, I was a, a person Sous living ce regime, in a, a unit. J'étais une paysanne vivant au sein d'une unité. It was the, during the Pol Pot uh, regime. Thank you, says the president. And as uh, reported orally by the uh, greffier, that's Après to your best knowledge, du greffe, à votre your, connaissance, your father, mother, siblings, or children, or husband, to your best de votre knowledge, has no relationship or connection with any of the civil de parties admitted in this case. Is this information civile, correct? Reconnu comme tel dans ce dossier, est-ce exact? And uh, yes, uh, that is correct, uh, Mr. Exact. President. Monsieur le Président. Question. Question. The Graffy also reported that you already greffe, took an oath before you, you entered the vous avez this prêté this morning to testify. Avant is this dans le correct? correct? Est-ce exact? Answer, yes, Réponse. Uh, that is correct. Oui. Before I entered the courtroom, avant d'entrer dans le prétoire, j'ai prêté serment statue. devant la statue à la barre de fer. Thank you, says the uh, president. Le président. The chamber Merci. would like to inform you of uh, your right la and obligation as vous a witness de vos before et this chamber. De témoin. Madame. Chiang Sri Mom, as a witness Madame before this Chiang chamber, Mom, you may refuse to respond vous to pouvez any refuser de répondre à une question that would incriminate you, that is your right against self-incrimination. Vous avez donc le droit de ne as pas for the obligation, as a witness, par ailleurs, to testify en tant que témoin, before this chamber, you il vous must respond to any questions posed to you by the chamber or the parties, except for those parties. questions that you think Sauf that your response si vous or comment may lead to a self-incrimination as I just stated. And as a witness, you must tell the truth that you have heard, have seen, have uh, remembered, or experienced, or observed personally in relation to any event posed to you by the chamber or any of the parties. Et aux questions posées par la chambre et And, par les partis. Uh, Madame Chiang Sui Mom, has, have you been interviewed by Madame any investigator of the office of the co-investigating judges? If so, how many times and where? Answer. Réponse. I 
participated uh, in the investigation by that office uh, once. À l'enquête une fois. And that was the first time that I have ever been interviewed. C'était la première fois que l'on m'interrogeait. And uh, my apology, Mr. President, uh, sometimes I could Monsieur not get uh, your uh, question in Parfois, full. Je n'entends pas complètement votre question. President, can you recall where you Le were President, interviewed? Vous souvenez-vous de l'endroit où vous avez été interrogé? Answer. Réponse. It was held in a Rizestroka commune, Nyanyong commune, rather a Rizestroka village, Nyanyong commune. Question, can you recall when uh, that happened? Vous souvenez-vous, dit le président, quand est-ce que cela a eu lieu? Answer, Réponse. I uh, cannot recall uh, the, the time, Je ne as uh, my recollection is not uh, that, that good. Parce que ma mémoire... Uh, Question. Uh, before you entered the courtroom this morning, Question. have you read or reviewed the written record Avant of your previous interview in order to uh, refresh your, your matin, memory? Avez-vous pu relire votre procès verbal d'audition pour vous rafraîchir la mémoire? Answer. Yes, I Réponse. have. Oui. Question. question to your best knowledge and recollection can you uh, après vos tell the court that the written record that you have uh, read or si reviewed is consistent with the responses you provided to the investigator during that interview à l'enquêteur au moment de l'interrogatoire answer yes Réponse. it is uh, consistent oui Ce document est conforme. And it is uh, uh, correct. Il est exact. Thank you. Le and président, je vous remercie. And pursuant to Rule 91 bis of the internal rules, bis du the co-prosecutors will be given the floor first uh, to put questions to this witness. The combined time for the prosecution and le the lead co-lawyers co is for co one morning session today, and you may now proceed. Ce matin. Vous avez la parole. National co-prosecutor, good morning, Mr. President, your honors, and uh, everyone in and around the courtroom, and good morning, Madame Chair and Mesdames Sermon. Et messieurs, bonjour, bonjour, I have some Madame. questions for you, and uh, please uh, respond to uh, my questions. Je vous invite à and à mes if questions. any of my questions is unclear, si, ma uh, please pas uh, tell me so, so I can uh, refresh it. Pour que je ma and if you find it very difficult uh, to si respond to uh, my questions, you may also uh, request the chamber to hold the camera in hearing. If there is a case, it means only people in the courtroom can hear your testimony and not the general public. Do you understand what I am saying? Avez-vous compris ce que je viens de vous expliquer? Answer: Yes, Réponse. I do. Oui, j'ai compris. Question. Question. When did the uh, Khmer rules enter Nyanyong commune to control the uh, the area? Quand est-ce que les Khmer rouges sont entrés dans la commune de Nang Nang, afin de contrôler la région, de prendre le contrôle de la région. Answer. Réponse. Uh, it happened in 1970. C'était en 1970. Question. In your previous uh, statement, question. that is document D two three two slash five eight, at the question number one, question you inform the investigator that uh, initially you lived in your temps, house, but uh, the Khmer Rouge abolished maison, ownership. My question is the following. When did the Khmer Rouge abolish ownership? Quand est-ce que les Khmer Rouges ont aboli 
les propriétés ou supprimer toutes les propriétés and, privées. Uh, Réponse. The, it, it happened from 1970. C'était en 1970, à partir de 1970. Then it, It continued through 1975. Et cela a duré jusqu'à 1975. Question. Question. Can you tell the court when the owner, when the uh, private ownership uh, was abolished, when did it happen and when did it dire end? À la chambre, quand est-ce que cette uh, suppression des propriétés privées a eu lieu? Answer. It uh, started in 1970 en and it ended in 1979. Question. Est-ce que les personnes ont été classé selon deux catégories, selon deux groupes. Answer. When the uh, Khmer Rouge started to control the area, people Lorsque were put into two separate categories. De cette région, les personnes ont été the first and the second category. Categories. La première catégorie et la deuxième and catégorie. And I would also like to add there was also a third category. So the first group was the full right people group and the second droit. group was the Le candidate people's group. Question. Am I correct to say that uh, people were put into two categories, that is a full right and a candidate? Donc en deux catégories, plein droit ou candidat? Answer. Yes, Réponse. that is correct. Oui, They exact. divided the people into uh, two uh, separate groups. One is a full right and the other one is a candidate. Plein droit et candidat. Question. And uh, which group did you belong to? Question. Et à quel groupe apparteniez-vous? Answer. Réponse. I was put into the uh, candidate people's group. On m'a mis dans le groupe des candidats. Question. Question. Did you know why you were put into that uh, candidate people's group? Savez-vous pourquoi on vous a placé dans le groupe des candidats? Answer. Réponse. I was assigned into uh, that candidate people's group because of my biography. They actually uh, reviewed my biography. Ils ont examiné ma biographie. And my family was uh, considered Et ma involved. Et a été considérée comme ayant été impliquée. In the uh, previous regime. And in the uh, previous regime. Ayant été engagée ou s'est engagée sous le régime précédent. My Family's relatives, including my grandparents, my were ethnic Chinese. Les membres de ma famille, y compris mes grands-parents, étaient so d'ascendance chinoise. So, for all the children from my grandparents, were considered Donc, by them as a ethnic Chinese. Étaient considérés comme appartenant à la minorité ethnique chinoise. And that's chinoise. the main reason that I was put into the candidates people's voilà group. Voilà pourquoi j'ai été placé dans le groupe des candidats. And that's the main reason for that, because of my uh, Chinese ancestral relationship. In addition, my parents were traders. They were small vendors, sole traders. And uh, they were accused of being ethnic, so we were put in candidate people's group. Et donc, Co prosecutor, on nous a thank you. Question and answer number two. Your answer number two, when you gave to the investigator, you mentioned about communal eating. 
I would like uh, you to have your clarification. When did communal eating start? Quand est-ce que la prise de ces repas en commun a-t-elle commencé? Answer: Réponse. Communal eating started from 1970. Cooperative were established at the time. People were collected and were asked to eat communally from 1970 onwards. Question: And Question. when did communal eating end? Et quand est-ce que les repas en commun? President, please hold on, the Madame Witness. Uh, you uh, can answer only the, the microphone is activated. Witness, it ended in 1979 when the, uh, the regime fell. Au moment de la chute du régime. Co prosecutor, thank Co -procureur. you. Je vous remercie. In the same document, answer 11, Dans le même document, à la you said, 11, some people died because they ate too much, and some died of uh, malnutrition. What uh, do you mean by saying Alors, that? Qu'est-ce que vous voulez dire par là? Answer. Réponse. Some uh, died because they ate too much. Certains sont morts parce qu'ils ont trop mangé. Uh, at that time, the uh, daily food ration was not uh, sufficient for us. Les rations quotidiennes de nourriture à l'époque n'étaient pas suffisantes. And uh, one day there was one day on the, the 30th day. Et un jour le 30 we were allowed to eat uh, as much as we could. à manger à volonté. As the, you know because our daily food ration was not enough the, and on the day the 30th n'était pas suffisante. Because uh, we have, we had never had uh, enough food to eat, so some had uh, too much. Nous avions eu tellement faim précédemment, and eh bien, uh, some died uh, because of uh, such eating. Et c'est à cause de cela que certains sont morts. Prosecutor, thank you. Co procureur, je vous remercie. Were there many people sick? in your village, or were, y there, de were they sick uh, frequently? Answer, Réponse. normally the people got sick uh, almost uh, daily. However, those who got uh, light illness, uh, qui they uh, continue going to work, and for those who had serious grave, uh, disease and illness, bien, au travail, que ceux uh, qui they plus were malades, afraid of being accused bien, that uh, it, they uh, would uh, cause impact on uh, leadership. So uh, they uh, went to work even though they Et were donc, sick. Même étaient gravement malades, ils Question. Quand même when people were sick, uh, were there any Question. medicines uh, to treat them? Malades, y avait des pour les Answer. Actually, there were Réponse. medics. En fait, on avait des médecins. President, uh, Le President, please hold on, Madame Winners. Uh, you may not proceed uh, defense counsel for Mr. Kiersenpont. Counsel, I would like to object uh, the uh, present my objection to uh, the the question because a uh, prosecutor used a hypo uh, hypothetical question to ask the witness to give uh, her conclusion. Co-prosecutor, I would like to respond to uh, the objection by the defense. Uh, witness said that uh, there were sick people, and my question is, uh, were there are medicines uh, to treat people, so it's not a leading question or a hypothetical question. I would like to rephrase uh, 
My question, you said uh, when people were sick, uh, you said that the people were sick, so when they were sick, uh, were there medicines to treat them? Answer. At the time people were Réponse. sick, I could see that people uh, would uh, get sick every day. Tous and uh, there was actually treatment, malades. but uh, treatment was not uh, really well enough. Mais les traitements n'étaient pas suffisamment efficaces ou suffisamment bon. What question? What do you mean question. by saying people were not treating uh, well enough? Les personnes n'étaient pas suffisamment soignées. Answer. Actually, uh, medics uh, because uh, they. Discriminates uh, uh, people living in that area. Dans le traitement qui était Questions. So, could you clarify uh, uh, your answers? Les qui, uh, what do you mean by saying uh, medics uh, discriminates? Uh, discrimination par, exercée par les médecins. Qu'entendez-vous par Answer. Réponse. Actually, medics uh, discriminates uh, us. Nous étions We discriminés were normal, ordinary people. Nous étions des personnes, euh, tout à fait ordinaires. And uh, for those who had a relation with the uh, chief of the units or chief of the teams, uh, so medics unité, uh, would uh, take care of uh, those people. As for we, mieux. for us, uh, we did not have any relation with Mais anyone, nous, nous so uh, we were not fully treated. Et donc, nous my uh, younger sister was a medic elle and when uh, there médecin. were members et y avait from the, her group uh, got a stomach ache, upset stomach. And then uh, Au ventre, uh, she, uh, that member was accused of uh, being pretend Think uh, such uh, disease. Était accusé de faire semblant and uh, that person malade. was uh, stricken, uh, and the medic said uh, they wanted to use uh, what kind a kind of medicine to uh, treat her. Et les Question. Donc de la I uh, would like to move to another un topic concerning uh, the, the disappearance of your father. Could you tell the chamber, were there any family members in your family si arrested? Dans votre famille, certains membres ont été arrêtés. Answer. Mm, there were my, I had a lot of relatives, and uh, many of them disappeared. In particular, my father was arrested at 7 p.m. Rather, uh, my uh, father and mother lived, uh, stayed at home at that night at 7 o'clock. Uh, the uh, chief of the unit uh, called my father uh, to get out of the house and then uh, my father disappeared. My, my mom, my mother at that time called uh, uh, my father and uh, she did not know where he went. I was told that uh, my father was talking uh, secretly to someone down below the house and then he disappeared. So we believe that he was killed. He was killed in 1977. I have uh, the evidence to support so what I said. I saw a note, a record at uh, Krang Tachan Security Office. Uh, Krang Tachan Security Office uh, is the place to store uh, 
bones Cedar and remains. I went to the place uh, once to uh, join the fois, ritual. At that time, Dans I could see uh, one record and there was uh, my father's name in uh, that record. His name was Jiang Yuan. Le nom de mon père, Jiang because uh, my father, he was killed because mon he uh, was against uh, the regime at the time. Contre le régime à l'époque. Council, uh, co-prosecutor, thank you. La co you merci. know that your father was arrested and killed. So when was he arrested and killed? Et tué. Quand cela a-t-il eu lieu? Answer. My father was taken away <laughs> at 7 p.m. from Mon père a été our house. À and I do not know when he was killed il a quitté le after he was taken away. Question. Question. Did your father live in Nyanyang at that time? Votre père vivait-il à Nyanyang à ce moment-là? Answer: My Réponse. father lived in Rusei Srok village, Nyanyang mm. commune at that père time. Père vivait dans le village de Rusei Srok, dans la commune. Question: de You Nyanyang recall mm. and mention about Grand Tatian Security Office? Do you know? Where, it, entendu where parler Krang du Tachan Security de Krang Tachan Office is, and ce bureau? where is it exactly où il se in your village, exactement. whether it is in the east, or west, or north, or south of your village? Is it situated au nord, au sud, à l'est, ou à l'ouest de votre village? Answer, my father was killed Réponse. in Krang Tachan. Mon père a été it was in com he was killed in Kus commune. Dans la commune de Kus. It was uh, in the uh, northwest uh, to my house. Au nord-ouest de mon domicile. Question. Question: You mentioned the time that that is 7 p.m. And when your father was taken vous away, where were you at the time when your father was taken away? À ce -là? Answer: I was in woman unit at uh, Pagode. Question: You were at uh, your unit at that time. How did you know your father was taken away at 7 p.m.? Answer. At that time, my younger sister visit came to visit us. And she wept. And she told me that uh, our father was taken away and killed the day before. The village chief uh, came to our house and called him out. My mother told me that uh, the village chief uh, called my father out of the house at 7 p.m. So I could say that uh, my father was taken away at that time and he disappeared. Question, what was the name of your younger sister? Answer, my younger sister's name was Jiang Ein. She was also in woman unit. Co-prosecutor. Thank you. I will La now move to another topic Merci. concerning uh, marriage. Did you get married during Khmer Rouge time? Vous -vous sous la des Khmer Rouge? Answer. I Réponse. got married 
in Khmer Rouge time. Je me suis marié sous le in 1977. Rouge, en 1977. Question. Could you tell the court? Why were you required to get married during Khmer Rouge a period? Vous avez dû vous marier pendant la période des Khmer Rouge? Answer. Réponse. I got married during Khmer Rouge period. Je me suis marié à cette période. As I said, I was in a woman unit Comme je and dit, I was tasked with uh, taking care of et je devais children des and enfants. I was considered that I had link uh, with the previous regime and also because my father was killed, I was uh, removed from the, my unit tué, so that uh, I could dû quitter mon unité be matched with uh, my husband's name, Tritu. So this is a way Marie, that uh, they did to me, and uh, I was removed from the units, and I was asked to make my resolution with uh, my husband. Question, uh, who told you uh, that uh, you uh, need to Tritu. get married, or did you decide to get married by yourself? Une contrainte à vous marier ou est-ce que c'est une décision que vous avez prise seule President, uh, witness, please hold on. Le Président, you... un instant s'il vous plaît, Madame la témoin. I apologize. I was going to object uh, to the question already before, parole, but the adding of the second question makes a choice because right now Je voulais intervenir. the witness seems to be led into the requirement, and she hasn't uh, said anything yet about the requirement. So, preferably, the um, prosecutor would ask open questions and quelque chose dont elle n'a pas encore parlé. Um, requirements or, 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 or any, any uh, deeds or acts of force nature. So, elle n'a pas encore parlé de quelque chose de contrainte. Because of the last additional question, I sat down again, so there is... Uh, voilà pourquoi j'interviens. Co-prosecutor, la co Do you remember the last question, or do you want me to repeat my question? Que je viens de poser, ou souhaitez-vous que je répète cette question? During Camaro's period, did you question. get married on your Pendant own will, or were the was the marriage marié? arranged for you? De votre propre volonté, ou bien ce mariage a-t-il été arrangé pour vous? Answer. During Réponse. that time, I did not get married voluntarily. À cette époque, je pas volontaire I lived in uh, my unit one night at 7 p.m. At uh, 6 uh, 30 p.m., rather, there was a letter inviting me to. A gather at the commune office dans laquelle on m'invitait à rejoindre le bureau de la commune as quickly as possible et ce, le plus rapidement possible at that time i did not realize uh, my father just passed away two days ago là, and uh, uh, when i was invited auparavant. and called i was uh, horrified because I uh, did not know what was going to happen when I arrived at the place. Uh, all the unit chief uh, told me that uh, I had to be prepared because uh, Anka would ask me to make a resolution uh, on the night. And I did not dare to ask uh, who, whom I am was uh, whom I was uh, going to get married Je with, and uh, I told her that uh, la et I uh, did not have any objection as long as my uh, mother and father agreed. I was asked uh, further that, uh, were you the daughter of Anka or were you the daughter of your parents? And I said uh, I was the daughter of Anka. Dit que alors répondu After que that, de I uh, was told to be ready for the marriage. On à de I asked her whom, 
who I go, was going to get married, and Alors I was told I would uh, get married with three toots. Later, marriage uh, was arranged. I was asked uh, to go into a room where the ceremony was held. My husband was not there yet, so I was waiting for him. After a while, he arrived. Co-prosecutor, you said, you mentioned about the phrase uh, making resolution. What do you mean by that term? Vous avez parlé de prendre un engagement. Que cela signifiait-il? Answer. There was commune, there was unit Réponse. chief and uh, commune chief uh, presided over the marriage ceremony. The groom was asked and was told that you now got married with that lady. Were you forced? My husband said, I got married on my own will. No one forced me. After that, the unit chief came to ask me, the same question. I then replied, I got married voluntarily. No one forced me to get married. Actually, I was just trying to provide uh, the answer upon their request. Co-prosecutor, so you uh, did not Question. get married voluntarily. Is that true? Vous ne vous êtes donc pas marié de votre plein gré. Answer. Réponse. I did not get married voluntarily, but non, I had to agree to the request. Uh, as you know, my accepter. father just uh, passed away, had just passed away. If I uh, refused, uh, I uh, si would also refusé, disappear. So I uh, would submit myself, my, myself to uh, their request. Co-prosecutor, am I correct uh, when I said that at that time you told Anka about your will to get married? different from your own will. Is that true? À ce moment-là, vous avez dit que vous étiez d'accord à l'encart alors que ce n'était pas le cas. Answer, that is uh, true. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. I got married. Involuntarily, and I was asked to make a resolution by saying that I would uh, take uh, this man to be my husband for life, and the man, the groom, uh, would say the same thing. After that, uh, the arranged marriage uh, completed. Question. Who decides uh, the groom for you? Question. Qui a choisi cet homme pour vous? Answer. The one who decided uh, the groom for me was the commune chief. C'est le chef de commune qui l'a choisi. He arranged uh, my marriage. C'est lui qui a arrangé mon mariage. By uh, selecting uh, the uh, biography of uh, the groom, Il appuyé sur la so they, de mon mari. the commune chief, uh, matched uh, my husband and my biographies. Commune, if uh, if we had the same class, uh, we could choix. be matched uh, in our marriage. And que, étant donné que nous appartenons à la même classe, nous pouvions nous marier. We could get married uh, as long as uh, we had uh, quite similar uh, backgrounds and biographies. Question, could you clarify when you said uh, we could get married as long as we, our background or biography were quite similar? What do you mean by saying that? Answer, Réponse. when I said that, I want to mean, as for me, 
in my biography, it was written that I was a Chinese ethnic. And as for my uh, husband biography, he came from this, uh, he was also a Chinese uh, ethnic, so uh, we were from the same uh, background, so we could uh, be arranged uh, for our marriage. Co-prosecutor, thank you. So uh, your husband was in the same category Votre mari as you, am I correct? Donc à la même that is, uh, que vous, he was pas? also in the candidate people's group. And uh, that is correct. Des candidats. Réponse, he oui, was exact. also in the same group Il appartenait as au mine. Même groupe, au même groupe que le mien. Question. The one who Question. you got married with, uh, that is a three two. Did you know him before? Have had you le met him before? L'aviez-vous déjà rencontré? Answer. Actually, uh, we were in the same commune. Nous vivions dans la même commune. Uh, although uh, our units uh, were far from each other, Nos but uh, we were in the same uh, commune. I had commune. known him, you know, to a some to some extent. However, I felt I felt at that time that I hated him. Mais à l'époque, j'avais l'impression de le détester. After I was asked to make Resolution at that time, I uh, felt remorse uh, because I uh, did not uh, love this uh, man. Je dois dire que j'ai prouvé un certain remords étant donné que je ne l'aimais pas. I hated him. Je le détestais frankly même. speaking, je vous parle en toute franchise, je le détestais. And I was asked to get married with the one je I hated. Uh, actually, I got a remorse at the time. However, I had to force myself to get married because I was afraid of uh, uh, them at the time. Question, am I correct sir, to say that uh, you were forced uh, to get uh, married with the one you hated and you did not know well? President. Please hold on, Madame Witness, the counsel for Nun for Nun Chia, said Mr. President, you may proceed. De la défense à la parole. Counsel, I am uh, Gong Zam On. I would like to object to uh, this Kajan question. Hans. This is a leading Je question. A witness said already that uh, she got married involuntarily. Uh, she did not say that she agree. was forced uh, to get married. Co-prosecutor asked uh, a leading question, so it is not a proper question to put to the witness. Mr. Co-prosecutor, I'd like to respond that uh, she did not uh, volunteer to get uh, married and I hope uh, Mr. Uh, President uh, can decide on that. The objection raised by the defense counsel is uh, sustained. And witness, you do not need to respond to the uh, last question posed to you by the national co-prosecutor. And national co-prosecutor, please move on. Question, let me uh, put it this way. Alors, je vais reformuler. Did you want to marry a man whom you never knew? Souhaitiez-vous vous marier à un homme que vous ne connaissiez pas? President, uh, Madame Witness, please hold on. Madame la témoin, And uh, Councillor Coupe, you may Maître proceed. Coupe à la parole. Well, that, that, that question, Mr. President, is misstating the evidence because she testified that she actually knew him. La témoin a déposé qu'elle so a déclaré uh, qu'elle connaissait son futur mari. Il faut donc que la coprocureure reformule sa question. National Coprocureur, uh, refresh my question. Je Did vais you reformuler. want to marry that man at the time? À l'époque, vouliez-vous? Épouser cet homme. 
answer. Réponse. At that time, I did not want her to marry that man. À l'époque, je ne voulais pas épouser cet homme. Question. Question. During the uh, Khmer Rouge regime, sous le régime des Khmer Rouge, first difficulty when you were told that you had to uh, marry that man, what was your feeling like? Qu'avez-vous ressenti quand on vous a dit que vous alliez épouser cet homme? Était-ce difficile? Answer. Réponse. When I was told to go and get married, Quand on I was very marier, sad. In fact, I wept quietly. En réalité, j'ai pleuré en cachette. And frankly speaking, in fact, I went Et to a pray to a je Buddha. Je suis allé prier at le Buddha temple au temple. That I Ask Buddha to intervene and not to allow the celebration go et on. Cette and if the man that I had to marry with was my uh, true partner, then let the uh, ceremony uh, proceed. Regardless of what I pray as si a result, the ceremony bon took place. Alors la cérémonie pouvait avoir Question. lieu, mais quoi qu'il en soit. Le mariage a fini Since par être célébré. Since you did not want to marry that man, Question. why Vous ne did not pas uh, you refuse cet homme? Alors when you were asked to make a resolution? Answer. Réponse. Despite the fact that I did not want to marry that man, Même si je ne voulais pas épouser I cet did homme, not dare refuse. Je pas osé refuser. If I were to refuse not to involve in the marriage, I would si be dead. Refusé de me marier, and that's je because my father aujourd'hui. had just uh, died. En effet, and if I refused uh, their uh, proposal, si refusé, I would be accused of uh, opposing uh, the party, and my whole family would be considered opposing the party, and it, that means it's my death. Été Considéré comme so that's why I had to force my, my, myself to mort. do what I was C'est told. J'ai dû me à Question. Now let me move on to the actual Question. wedding ceremony itself. Passons à la cérémonie de mariage When proprement was it dite. held? At what Quand time? I mean, if you can recall it. Lieu? À quel moment de la journée? Answer. Réponse. It was 8:30 when the uh, ceremony started. La cérémonie a commencé à 8h30. And it uh, continued until it concluded at 10:30. Elle a pris fin à 10h30. Question. Question. How much time did you have before you knew that you had to marry a man Combien de at temps 8 à 30 that, avez-vous that day? appris que vous devriez vous marier à 8h30 Answer. No, Réponse. I did not prepare myself uh, for the Je n'ai pas pu me préparer uh, marriage. au mariage. I was called by a messenger and C'est I was not told that I would get married. C'est un sans me dire que j'allais être marié. I was uh, scared when I uh, J'ai uh, été was called. effrayé. Quand on it m'a was ainsi not convoqué. Uh, common that a, a commune chief would send a C'était messenger rare, to call chef you. De commune and at that time I was afraid that I might have made a mistake or something. J'avais peur and I did not prepare faute. myself for the uh, wedding Et ceremony. Je n'ai pas pu me préparer à la cérémonie de mariage. Question. Where was that uh, wedding ceremony held? Où la cérémonie de mariage a-t-elle eu lieu? Answer. Réponse. The regiment was at a uh, party's office, that is the office of the uh, Nyang Yong commune. Le de la commune de Nyang Yong. And 
That was the location where the unit chief and là police chief resided. d'unité so we to make a resolution Nous avons donc été convoqués là-bas pour that y prononcer office. notre engagement dans leur bureau. Question, when you went Question. to the party's office to make a resolution that is to get married, cet engagement de mariage, was your husband, your future husband, already there? Est-ce que votre futur mari était déjà sur place? Answer. Réponse. In fact, I had arrived first. Je suis arrivé and en premier. Later on, I was told by my par la suite husband que mon that mari m'a dit qu'alors qu'il qu allait prendre son repas à la coopérative, that un messager lui avait dit qu'il uh, devait at the commune office aller as they went chercher astray. des vaches au bureau de la commune parce que les vaches s'étaient échappées. Et donc, lui s'est rendu à ce bureau to enter the office and he was not aware that he was uh, selected pas to get married en réalité, and in fact he combed his hair with marier. his hands il and he was not aware that he would be uh, married with me mains, il ne savait pas qu'il allait m'épouser puisqu'on lui avait dit qu'il devait aller chercher des vaches qui s'étaient enfuies so he uh, came and said uh, to me il est donc venu s'asseoir à côté de moi et ensuite on nous a dit de prononcer un engagement. Ni lui ni moi ne savions que nous avions ainsi été désignés. Dans mon cas, on me l'a dit en arrivant, mais dans son cas à lui, on ne lui a rien dit du tout. Question. Question. Who actually presided over the ceremony qui a présidé à cette cérémonie et ceremony? qui était présent Answer. Réponse. Those who presided over the ceremony, including Eun, the commune Eun, chief, le chef and de la the commune, women's unit uh, ainsi chief, que la all, chef de l'unité des femmes, all, ont présidé uh, la cérémonie. Quant aux participants, mother, il y avait ma grand-mère, ma grand-mère, and some other uh, unit chiefs. Ainsi que d'autres unités. Participants. Il y avait une dizaine de participants environ. Question. Question. Can you uh, say the name again? What was the name of uh, the commune chief who participated in uh, that qui a ceremony? À la ceremony? Answer. Réponse. I only knew that he his Je name was Eun. I didn't Eun. know his uh, family name. Je ne connaissais pas son nom de famille. As for the women's uh, unit chief, Quant à la chef de l'unité des femmes, the name was All. Elle s'appelait All. During the, the, the regime, we Sous did not know régime, the family names. I only knew the first name. Famille, je ne connaissais que les prénoms des gens. Question. Question. In order to uh, clarify your response, I'd like to refer to your statement at the answer number eight, eight la that Burnt was the commune chief and All chef de was the all female unit chairperson. Chef de l'unité des femmes. Can you uh, clarify whether the commune chief was uh, Burnt or Burnt as you just stated? Le chef de commune était-il Burnt ou bien Eun comme vous venez de le dire? Answer. Réponse. The commune chief's name was Bun. Le chef de commune s'appelait Bun. Question. And when you Question. refer to a name, Eun, who was Eun? Vous avez parlé d'un certain Eun. Qui était-ce? Answer. I Réponse. think it's uh, my mistake. Peut-être me suis-je trompé. Question. Can you uh, Question. state again the uh, commune chief who attended and presided over that ceremony 
What was his du name? Du chef de commune qui a présidé la cérémonie. Answer. Réponse. The name was Boon. Boon. President. Le président. The time is appropriate for a short break. Le moment est venu d'observer une courte pause. Short break and now. And return at uh, half past L'audience reprendra à 10h30. And court officer, could you assist the witness during the, the break? vous occuper du témoin pendant la pause. And uh, have her return to the courtroom. Et le ramener dans le préfort. Pour la reprise 10. de l'audience. The court à is 10h30. In recess. Suspension. Bien grand chose.